In this video we're going to be looking at functional equations. So looking at how you can prove them, determine them, or show that a functional equation does exist for a particular function. This method and process for writing down your solution can also be used in general for proving equations. So these are questions that are such as like show that or prove that and they give you a formula and you have to prove that one side equals the other but specifically in this video we're looking at functional equations so what are functional equations well they're equations in terms of unknown functions so unknown functions or you can think about instead of unknown you can think about them as sort of like general so rather than having, let's say, an equation such as this, like 4x is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 2, which probably which they don't equal, but if you had like 2 that did equal, so x squared is equal to x times x, for example. However, for functional equations, it would be more like fx is equal to fx or you can have fx squared is equal to fx times fx for some equations. Then you have to work out sort of in these general or fx is equal to fy. And you have to show that these functions are equal for particular equations. So rather than having these ones, so these are just normal equations. These are also equations as well, but they're a particular type of equation called functional, where you have to like the fx and fy instead of actual uh, numerical numbers. So an ex example of a few is let's take fx squared is equal to fx times fx. Now this sort of seems logical because we know that x squared is equal to x times x. So it would make sense that fx squared is equal to fx times fx. But this only holds for some equations, or some, it's not equations, some functions. So it depends on function. It depends on function. So if the function was just fx, so fx is equal to x, then we could see that x squared is equal to x times x. So it holds, so x squared is equal to x squared. So that's fine. However, what about if we let fx equal to log x. Well that means fx squared is equal to log x squared and then fx is log x. So fx times fx is equal to log x times log x. Now according to this, equ this equation these two are equal. However this is not the case because log x squared is not equal to log x times log x. This here is equal to log x close bracket squared. This one here, you can bring the 2 down and bring it out. We said this is equal to 2 log x. So all you can see is for the equation log x rather than fx squared is equal to fx times fx, the equation fx squared is equal to fx plus fx for fx is equal to log x. So typically for these fu functional equations, they'll give you this equation and then you have to determine for a particular equation, so let's say fx is equal to log x, if this holds. So for this one it wouldn't hold, we've just shown that, and for this one log x squared is equal to log x plus log x, the left hand side becomes 2 log x and the right hand side becomes 2 log x as well. So they are equal. So we'll do an example, we'll show how you can do a systematic step and how you should set out your working. So the question is, show that 4x satisfies fx plus y, fx times fx. So this equation is to show that so that proves that this already is satisfied. However, it could also say like determines, 
which is the same process, but there could be the outcome in which this doesn't um, work or it doesn't equal. So we have that 4x. So, so, yeah, so it says that fx is equal to 4x. So that's the equation. Then it says that fx plus y is equal to fx fy. So when you think about these equations, you think about this as a left-hand side. So left-hand side. And this on the right is referred to the right-hand side. And we'll refer to those from now on as L LHS and RHS. So in the end, we want to prove that left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So firstly, the left-hand side is equal to fx plus y. So this is equal to 4x plus y. That's because x is being replaced with x plus y, so we get this. So that is equal to 4x plus y. And then the right-hand side is equal to 4x times 4y. You can see that fx times fy. Now, when you have these show that questions, typically you think, which one has more terms? This has one term, and this has two. Because you can see that this is one, two, and this is one. So it's typically easiest to simplify it down. If you have a lot of terms, so let's say 8 minus 10 plus 2 plus 8, then this will give you 16 minus 10 plus 2, 18 minus 10, which equals 8. So it's quite easy to simplify from these four terms down to 1. But if we have one term, let's say 8, and I say make it into four terms, then there are so many different four different like four outcomes that could occur, it's very unlikely that you'd get these specific eight different values. So when you have to prove something, it's a lot easier to get something with more terms, simplify it down to make it equal to the terms, to make it equal to the side with less terms. So for the, this example, I want to simplify down the right-hand side so it equals the left-hand side. So I have the left-hand side here, and the right-hand side is equal to this. Now, index laws, we can use 4 to the x times 4 to the y is equal to 4x plus y. And that's one of the laws. Now, these are equal. So I can say that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side as required. So as I've shown that the left-hand side is equal to this, the right-hand side is equal to that. Because they're equal, then that means this is show that. So I've proven that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, and therefore this satisfies. And if you want, you could write another line here that then this means that 4x satisfies blah, like this equation. If it says determine, then you could say left-hand side equals right-hand side. Therefore, 4x satisfies instead of as required. But the main point here is to write that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, and to set it up so you show what the left-hand side is equal to, what the right-hand side is equal to, get the side with the most terms, this is just general for proving equations, simplify it down and let the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side.